2021 Audi RS7 review. The high-end sedan is not exactly a new concept. Models like the BMW M5 and AMG variants of the Mercedes E-Class have been around for decades. And yet, we have to offer credit to Audi for placing its own spin on this class with the new 2021 RS7. It all begins as an A7, which is Audi's fastback version of the mid-sized A6 sedan. From there, Audi provides it the complete RS treatment, such as a muscular turbocharged V8 grid for 591 horsepower, a particularly tuned air suspension, optional carbon ceramic brakes, and flared fenders covering 21-inch wheels with summer tires. How well does everything work? How can the 2021 Audi RS7 drive? Getting to 60 miles per hour in only 3.3 seconds is quick no matter what type of car you're driving. As a result of its all-wheel drive system, the RS the 7th of May fully deploy its 591 horsepower from a halt, which only adds to the viability of its extensive functionality. And thanks to its broad power band, the RS7 is also remarkably relaxing to drive in regular traffic. Ample passing power is readily available. Just as impressive as the acceleration is your RS7's handling. It pulled 1.0 grams on the slide pad and outside on actual streets will likely leave most sports cars in the dust. The capability of the RS7 is just short of magnificent. How comfy is your 2021 Audi RS7? You would be right to assume the RS7 has driven relaxation into the ditch of the title of Mondo functionality, but you'd be dead wrong. Despite its own 22-inch wheels, the RS7's optional adaptive air suspension provides a ride that boundaries on supple. And as competitive as the RS seats look, they afford long-haul comfort with supple leather and padding that may almost be described as lavish. Adding to the impressive heights of relaxation in the RS7 is the near-complete lack of road or wind noise. Even those above 22-inch wheels and competitive summer tires do not create enough noise to disturb the occupants. Our test car was fitted with the optional sports exhaust. But rather than emitting obnoxious rebounds and pops, it offered a muffled bassy roar in its most aggressive setting. What is the inside of the 2021 Audi RS7? The cockpit is low slung and surrounds its occupants with tightly drawn leather, precision stitching, and among the most tech-forward interiors in the business. Because the RS7 is a larger luxury car, four adults could find plenty of space. Just taller rear passengers might want to get a bit more headroom. Curiously, the RS7 steering wheel is simply too big. While other parts from Audi offer flat-bottom steering wheels, the one in the RS7 feels enormous and blocks part of the instrument panel or is just too high when adjusted to clear the display. The RS7's virtual cockpit. Audi's fully digital and reconfigurable instrument panel can get cluttered with too much, even apparently unimportant, information. The climate control screen takes extra glances and extra time to get what you would like from it. What technology is used in the 2021 Audi RS7? At 10.1 inches, the main screen takes up a sizable chunk of the dashboard. Stylish and crisp graphics make it appealing and fit in with the RS7's aesthetic. The machine will not have a steep learning curve, but it's relatively customizable and reacts quickly to orders. Our sole complaint is, even when on, the screens look smudged and full of fingerprints. The standard audio system is more than sufficient but falls somewhat short of sound systems in other German luxury automobiles. There's an optional Bang and Olufsen platform that might compare better to its rivals. Wireless Apple CarPlay is a nice feature, but Android users might have to settle for the quick connecting Bluetooth option. Surround view cameras with exceptionally precise parking detectors are conventional and much valued. We had no issues with the adaptive cruise and lane keeping systems, except that they're optional at the price point. How's the storage in the 2021 Audi RS7? Remind us again why more people don't purchase hatchbacks. The RS7's 24.9 cubic feet of cargo space makes it eminently sensible. And when combined with its low load floor and 40 slash 20 slash 40 split folding rear seats, the RS7 can easily swallow a bicycle or two. In contrast, the similar hatchback style Porsche Panamera only manages to provide 17.6 cubic feet of power. Unfortunately, interior storage isn't quite as impressive. There's no cubby ahead of the shifter, and the middle console bin is shallow. 
For everyday things, the cup hold might need to do almost all of the heavy lifting. Got kids? As a result of wide opening rear doors and plenty of rear leg room, installing a child safety seat at the RS7 should be a breeze. How cheap is your Audi RS7? Within our 115 mile mixed driving test route, the RS7 returned a credible 19.6 miles per gallon. Traffic was exceptionally light because of the pandemic, but it is still a great sign the RS7 can match its market estimates pushed with some restraint. Audi RS7 price? Quite simply, yes. Starting at around $115,000, the Audi RS7 undercuts the BMW M8 Grand Coupe by nearly $15,000 and the Porsche Panamera Turbo by almost $40,000. Our well-appointed test car was priced around $137,000, and we'd be hard-pressed to describe why its rivals ask for a lot more money. Audi's limited and powertrain warranties are average in terms of length. The Audi RS the 7th of May look like nothing more than a very long hatchback to the casual driver. However, the RS7's flared fenders, big wheels, and menacing styling make it look like a roof in ill-fitting sheep's clothes to the discerning enthusiast. The proprietor, however, will know the RS7 to be among the most tasteful, well-rounded, and devastatingly quick performance sedans on the market. And, as a bonus, this hatchback body style adds a hefty dose of practicality. Which RS7 does Techicar recommend? The Audi RS7 does not have some trim levels to choose from and comes relatively well equipped as it is. Of the available options and packages, we would spend our cash on the driver assistance package for the full speed adaptive cruise control and back cross traffic assist as well as the game exhaust and the capable carbon ceramic brakes. Our verdict on 2021 Audi RS7 review. While other sports sedan makers inquire if you want fast or comfortable, Audi simply asks, why not both? The Audi RS7 unites enormous speed and performance potential with a quieter ride and a contemporary, tech forward inside. And due to its hatchback design, it's also tremendously practical. Some buyers might not like Audi's new infotainment system, but there is very little else to fault in this automotive tour de force.